left hand rule b bar velocity so the magnetic force will act here in this direction call say like a disposition let, let it be say some f not initially it's, it's like a for just greater than x greater than zero the particle will start moving so it like when the magnetic field the fourth here so right x equals zero field should be zero no force just x greater than zero limit just x non-zero value very non small infinitesimal change in x will result in a magnetic force and because of that the particles start deviating if the field were uniform it would have described circular path it would just describe the circular path here it feel very uniform but field is non-uniform what do you expect so go go for r equal to <coughs> mv naught by qb i think we have to now uh, really analyze it rather than jumping so as the particle we know uh, what happened to speed magnetic field work done by magnetic force on a moving charge particle will be zero so nothing will happen to speed of particle but but here yeah, look at this one as, as it moves the b bar will increase so r should decrease suppose say this radius is somewhere here so will it be a circular path no no it's it cannot be circular path here because r is variable now so it's going to describe some curved path rather than going and just drawing some writing equation student has to analyze from here the work done by magnetic field is zero. So therefore, the speed of the particle will not change. Put it V naught. Then the as B increases, R will decrease. So what is the path it is going to describe? It's going to describe a now a curved path. The trajectory will be such that the radius of curvature is going to decrease here. So maybe it's a very big circle is there. So it's going to go like this here. Means uh, here we have to so there are so many things are there where you have to fight with the idea here rather than writing some equations. Hmm? So if radius were constant, it would have been like this. No? No, no, if, uh, if B, were, B were constant, if B decreases, B increases, R should decrease. So what can, what do you expect the path? Path is something of like this, no? So hope you are able to understand the what we are finally trying to do if it be were constant. This is for path if B increasing. So is it a circular one, the red color one? No, it's not a not a circular. This is some curved path here. Uh, sir, why why it will move curve? Why can't go straight? Because there is a magnetic force. There is a magnetic force. Now, uh, what should be the path? Okay, let's get into the kinematics idea. Because of force and velocity, <coughs> will it just move along horizontally with velocity or will it move in the direction of force? So, some resultant path. So, it is going to deviate from the velocity vector. So, here is what? Uh, with the, all that, I, I'm, but not a circle. You can see that. If I further continue, but don't show it to be circle. Okay, I think. I'll... It's nowhere circle, no? It's nowhere in the, like a circle. And now look at this, uh, the velocity, but the speed of particles should never change, no? Okay, somewhere let it, let's, let me take it. Very good problem. Actually, uh, you, you need some half an hour, not like three, four minutes also not possible to crack, to be frank. Maybe I'm, I'm, I'm slow learner. <laughs> I took half an hour first time when I'm doing this problem. Maybe it happened with me, May others, I don't know. <laughs> so the speed will remain as it is. Okay, this is theta. No, 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 what will happen? The, how the <coughs> magnetic force should act perpendicular always, perpendicular to the path.
the speed of particle will remain same. Okay, this is x comma y will write it. And now you can ask questions. So why you are why can't it go like this only? Why you are making it something curved here? Why it will have a, some turn here? See all, all the time at, at this point and this point. So no, no, the radius you you don't put small or anything capital R. The radius of curve should be varying. It is some sort of curved path here. Now at one instant, you look at this particular thing. <coughs> here how the particle. The, the magnitude will be continuously varying. So even the ma magnetic force which is acting, it should change centripetal force because the radius of curvature is going to be different at different points. Uh, let's let's get into this one. So altogether, look at the particle. So shall we say that there is some sort of acceleration Earlier, the x component, y component of velocity was zero initially at point of projection. It was projected horizontally. Somewhere it will take a curvature like this. Here, here what happened? The x component has become zero. But, sir, magnetic force uh, can do work. No, it cannot do work. But it can accelerate a particle, it can change the direction of motion. So, here, what this magnetic field has done, it has made its velocity vector to get directed along y axis. So shall I put like the X component uh, there was V naught, now it is zero. And this is what that maximum displacement, what we needed. So how you can say maximum displacement? After this, the charge particle again, the position of charge particle from the origin, the X coordinate will decrease, no? So among all this, there's a maximum displacement. <coughs> Tell me at maximum displacement, what conditions will arise? The velocity of particle is along positive y direction. I think there's, there's a core uh, central part of our discussion at maximum. I'll, I'll shift it here. Yeah. At maximum x displacement. At maximum displacement along x axis will write along x axis. The velocity of particle will be directed along positive y axis. Then only that will become maximum. No, uh, sir. Okay, fine, sir. Everything is fine. Okay, we'll agree with you. Why do the charged particle will move like this? <laughs> That, that's what I'm trying to <coughs> bring here. So let's assume that one. If it is moving in circular path at one instant, uh, how the velocity of this will be? Can it happen here? Here the velocity was x axis. Now the velocity is along y axis. Same thing for curved path also. This is at one instant, the velocity will be directed along y axis. That will be the maximum x coordinate. After that, again, you see that a year. Again, it is not at maximum distance from the origin along x axis. So therefore, at maximum x displacement, this is a condition that will arise. I think this is very, very important. That, that comes from here only, the idea comes from here only. Okay. Hmm? Okay, now let's get into the mathematics here. After this, uh, let's get into kinematics, then acceleration along y axis is equal to F B cos theta by M. What is F B? Q V B by M into cos theta. Now, what is B? In fact, this is Q V naught. Okay, let's let me retain that V naught. Q V naught B naught X cos theta by M. Can I write this as A Y as? dvy by dt but we want x coordinate no what to do with vy so this i'll i'll adjust some
let's see what to do with cos theta. Huh? Uh, dvy by dx. And uh, dx by dt, what should we write? V not cos theta. There's a reason, no? So like this, we write it. So V not cos theta will get eliminated. So we'll end up with dVy by dx is equal to Let me write here only. Mm -hmm. Further, okay, can we integrate now? Q B naught M X DX. Uh, what should be the limit now? At at X equal to zero, the Y component of velocity is zero. You can see clearly from that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then at maximum displacement, what is the y component of velocity is v naught. So solving this v naught is equal to q b naught by m So finally, our answer is 2mv0 by qb0. Uh, there's a one rare problem. It's then in Edo. That's why I picked up all possibility of asking as it is. <laughs> in books, uh, uh, two our problems are there. Try to think on them. Motion of charge particle in a variable magnetic field. Uh, you can see the complete description. <coughs> uh, of all, I feel th this is the important idea of the. Restoral mathematics. Even this also an idea. <laughs> 